President. I'm very happy to be here on this day, and I'm grateful to the President for having received me here. We are indeed in Ireland grateful to the President uh, for the support that he has given to the preparation of the agreement between Ireland and Britain, and the support that he has offered in the aid program now before Congress. Uh, this agreement is one which uh, brings together two countries which together have made, I think, a, a great contribution and perhaps together the major contribution to the United States, if I may say that without offense to any Italians or Germans present. Um, uh, is an agreement which we hope will bring peace and stability to Northern Ireland. Uh, our gratitude goes out to the President, to the Congress and people of the United States for the support they have given to us in what we're trying to do with the British government in this respect. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity of offering to the President this gift on behalf of the people of Ireland. It's, uh, uh, it is the centenary year of the Statue of Liberty. I think you've been having some repairs done to it, President. Yes. And this replica, um, carried out by craftsmen uh, in Waterford, is something which we want uh, to give from the people of Ireland to the people of the United States, because uh, there were millions of Irish people who passed that statue and to whom it meant freedom, and to whom it gave freedom to them and their descendants. And uh, it seemed to us an appropriate gift uh, to make to you. I uh, also want to offer you a gift of a bowl of shamrock, which is genuine shamrock, um, and which I think should be enough for uh, you, your cabinet, <laughs> or your family, <laughs> anybody else around. So I hope you'll accept that uh, on behalf of the Irish people also. Well, a renewed thanks, President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Same <laughs> 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 uh, Yes. Yes, he can keep the ball too. <laughs> well, Mr. Prime Minister, this is magnificent, and of course, that is most appropriate and most welcome. And I'm delighted to be joined here by the Prime Minister of Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. When you mentioned those who came past that statue, my great grandfather was one of them. We've just had a most useful discussion, brief, but important and it's a distinct honor to receive the traditional shamrock and to wear it as an expression of shared hope for peace and goodwill in the year ahead. Our friendship for Ireland and the Irish people is deep and enduring. And as I've said, I'm also honored to receive this Waterford crystal replica of the Statue of Liberty. Nothing stirs the heart like liberty, which is very much in our minds these days. So, Mr. Prime Minister, I thank you very much for coming. I look forward to seeing you later in the day. And again, my heartfelt thanks for these gifts. Thank you. All right. right. Okay. Yes. We shall now depart. Okay. Yes, indeed. I can't take any questions here. <laughs>